Good morning. Well, we're ready to start story time today, and the name of our story is Down to the River Chicken Liver, and that's a rhyme. I love rhymes, and that's what we're going to do all, all through the story and all through some of the activities that we're doing today is rhyme things, and you can help us come up with the rhymes. It's kind of fun. So, you know, I was out walking around this morning, and I saw on the ground really close to some bushes, I saw this sign. What does it say? It says, don't wake the snake. And I said, what? And I looked around all over the ground and I looked and I looked and all of a sudden right by some bushes, I saw a snake. Oh, but he was sleeping. And I thought, well, why shouldn't I wake the snake? You know, that's a rhyme. That kind of rhymes. And I said, well, I, you know, come on. <laughs> I'm going to wake up the snake. So I said, hey, snake, you can help me. Kind of yell at him a little bit. He can hear you through the computer. Wake the snake. Let's, his, I think his name is Jake. Jake the snake, and we're going to wake him up. Are you ready? So everybody yell, Jake, and we'll see if we can wake him up. He's sleeping. One, two, three. Hey, Jake! Let's do it again. He's kind of moving. One, two, three. Hey, Jake! Oh, we did it. We woke the snake. Oh, no. Oh, he's stretching. Ah. Whoa, it's nice. He's a nice garter snake. I really like him. Hey, Jake, what's happening? You know, snakes don't really talk. The, the only thing I've heard them say is, Jake, can you go? Sss? No. <laughs> Jake, you're shaking your head. That means no. Okay, yeah, right. He's shaking his head. Jake, the snake shakes. Oh, wait, what, what, what's he doing? Shake the snake shakes. Oh no, not a rattle. You've got to be kidding me. You know, I, I've heard some snakes rattle their tail, but they are the poisonous ones. But you just shake your head, yes or no. Okay. All right. Well, I get it now. Well, Jake the snake <laughs> shakes, but not his tail. <sighs> And I think there's a lot more that rhymes with snake. Let's, let's kind of find out. Because Jake is a rhyming snake. Hmm. Hey, oh, whoops, he's going over here. I wonder what he's got. Oh, he's got a plate of cookies. What? Jake, you found my cookies. You know, you found my cookies. I was eating a snack before I went out for a walk, and I had two cookies. Jake, Jake, don't take my cookies. Those are my cookies. Oh, now you got snake slobber all over them, and I can't eat them. So more shaking, more shaking. Ha 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 ha! Right? <laughs> he ate my. He ate. He tried to take <laughs> my cookies, and got snake slobber all over him. Oh, Jake, I don't know. Let's see. We woke up the snake, and now he's awake. And he tried to take my cookies, and he's always shaking. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. Oh, well, if you eat my cookies, then I'm just going to have to bake a cake. Ah, <laughs> here he goes. Let's see if he can find a cake. So if he eats all the cookies, we're going to have to bake a cake. That's really hard for a snake to eat, don't you think? You know, they eat things whole. And I don't think he could swallow that whole cake. What do you think? No? All right, well, let's see. Oh, my goodness, for Pete's sake. <laughs> that rhymes too, oh no. What else, oh, what else? I know what rhymes with, he's gonna tell me, he thought of something that rhymes with snake. Leaves. Jake, leaves don't rhyme with snake. What are you trying to tell me? More shaking. Oh, I know, I know. If the leaves fall off the tree and on the ground, 
then I'm going to have to rake them up. Yeah, right. Okay. Rake, take the snake and rake the leaves. Oh, okay. All right. Well, what else have you got over here that rhymes with snake? Oh, he's going down for something. Let's see what he's got now. Oh, flowers. Now, flowers does not rhyme with snake. What? Okay, yeah. In fact, these aren't even real flowers. They're just fake. Oh, wait. That's it. Yeah! <laughs> Jake, you're so smart. So we've got fake and rake and fake. Whoa, and oh, I thought of one. I thought of one that you didn't think of, Jake. How about lake? Oh, yeah. Oh, what are you doing? That's not a shake. What is that? To me, oh, you were cold when you jumped in the lake to catch those minnows. And so now you're cold and now you're shiver. That's the one. Snake shivering. That rhymes with, <laughs> that doesn't rhyme with snake, but that rhymes with, or lake, but it rhymes with, what does shiver rhyme with? Huh. Oh, it rhymes with our story title. It rhymes with river. <laughs> Shiver, river. So if he went in the river, just like he went in the lake, that would rhyme. Well, Jake, you've been very fun to play with today and tell us all about some of the things that rhyme with snake, fake, shake, and you take my cookies and you bake my cakes. So we're gonna say goodbye to you, Jake. And we're going to start our story because the story today is all about rhyming too. And it's called Down to the River Chicken Liver. Isn't that a silly name? I love it. So right behind me, you can see a picture of a river. And <laughs> there it is. So here's what we're going to do. There's a little rhyme to start the story, and it goes down to the river, chicken liver. And here it is. Down to the river where the big fish swim, there's ducks that go quack, <laughs> and beaver tails slap. And then the part of the story goes, river, river, chicken liver. <laughs> Jake the snake shivers. We're going to put that in there. So we're going to take a walk and we're going to go down to the river and let's see what else we come up with. On the way to the river where the big fish swim, you can do that with your hands if you want to play along. On the way to the river where the big fish swim, where the ducks go quack and the beaver tails slap, there is a slippery green frog. So now we have to rhyme frog. How about, what can you rhyme? Think of one. Okay, frog, frog, sitting on a log. <laughs> river, river, chicken liver. <laughs> jake, jake, snake, <laughs> shiver, shiver. And there's our other rhyming animals. So let's do another one. On the way to the river where the ducks go quack and the beaver tails slap. There's a white-tailed deer. Hmm, now we have to rhyme deer. Put the deer up in the, in the woods here. I saw a deer on the way to the river. Deer, deer, have no fear. Sometimes the deer are afraid of us. Can you think of another rhyme for deer? There's cheer. Well, you think of one. But let's do this. Okay, so on the way to the river where the big fish swim and the ducks go quack and the beaver tails slap, there's a frog on the log <laughs> and a deer with no fear. Woo! All right, so let's do that again. On the way to the river where the little ducks quack and the beaver tails slap, there's a shiny dragonfly. Woo! Fly, fly. Let's, where are we going to put a dragonfly flying in the air over the frog? Maybe the frog will catch them. What do you think? They eat some of those. 
right above the frog. Catch him, frog. <laughs> so let's rhyme fly. Shiny dragonfly. Fly, fly. <gasps> oh, tell you what was from higher. Up in the sky. <laughs> Fly, fly, up in the sky, deer, deer, with no fear. Frog, frog, sitting on a log. What's next? We're going down to the river where the big fish swim and the little ducks quack and the beaver tails slap. There's a growly black bear. Ooh. <laughs> What are we going to rhyme with bear? What are we going to rhyme with bear? Well, we could do a silly thing like a bear bear sitting on a chair. Or we could do bear bear, we don't care because we're not afraid of that bear. Let's do bear bear, we don't care. All right. Bear bear, we don't care. Dragonfly up in the sky. Dear, dear, no fear. Frog, frog sitting on a log. <laughs> Let's see, what else are we gonna see on our way down to the river? Walking down to the river where the little ducks crack, quack and the beaver tails slap. There's a white pine tree. Whoa, let's put the white pine tree up over here maybe. There we go, right in the middle by the deer so the deer can hide, hide behind it, what do you think? So let's rhyme pine tree. What do I see? <laughs> a pine tree. Have you got one too? Oh, lots of rhymes for tree. I'm gonna go with I see a pine tree. So we see a pine tree. We see a bear bear, but we don't care because we're not afraid of one. <laughs> we see a deer deer with no fear. A dragonfly in the sky. A frog frog sitting on a log. Wow, but are we there yet? We've been walking down to the river for a long time. So now we're at the river. So let's do some more. What else do we see? At the river in the water where the big fish swim, where the ducks go quack and the beaver tails slap, there's a laughing loon. Oh, check that out. We're gonna put that loon right on the river water. Okay, so now we have to rhyme loon. Ah, oh, loon, loon, looking at the moon. Of course, then it would have to be night. But that's a good one. That's a really good one. We're gonna say loon, loon, looking at the moon. Uh, I see a pine tree. <laughs> bear, bear, we don't care. Dear, dear, without any fear. Oh, I forgot the dragonfly. Dragonfly, dragonfly in the sky. Frog, frog sitting on a log. Oh, I want to do a crazy one next. Let's go at the river in the water where the big fish swim, where the ducks go quack and the beaver tail slap. There's a scaly alligator. Oh, no. I'm going to put the alligator right by the loon. Can you see him? Let's rhyme alligator. Okay. Gator. Gator, gator, see you later. That's the only one I can think of. It's stuck in my head forever because there's a little song about that. Okay. So, see you later, alligator. Loon, loon, looking at the moon. Bear, bear, we don't care because we're not afraid of that bear. Dragonfly, dragonfly, up in the sky. I see a pine tree. Deer, deer, without any fear. And frog, frog, sitting on a log. Let's see, what are we gonna do? How about at the river in the water where the big fish swim and the ducks go quack and the beaver tails slap? There's a painted turtle. Oh, I love turtles. I love to watch them. So let's put the turtle near the shore in our picture, right there. That's cool. What, what rhymes with turtle? <laughs> well, you could be jumping a hurdle. That's pretty good. You know, sometimes people run track and they have to jump over these gates and that's a hurdle. So 
I don't know if turtles jump hurdles. I don't think so. But this is silly, so we're going to go with that. Can you think of another one? Sometimes when I rhyme things, I go turtle, myrtle, shirtle, purtle, and there's all nonsense words. But we can use those too. But this time, this turtle is going to jump over a hurdle. All right, let's go. We're at the river. We're seeing lots of cool things. At the river in the water where the big fish swim, where the ducks go quack and the beaver tails slap, there's a mini, whoops, mini muskrat. Muskrats love to swim in the water and they eat cattails. So we're also going to put some cattails down there for that mini muskrat because they love them. Okay, mini muskrat. How are we going to rhyme muskrat? Rat, rat, rat. Are you thinking of a rhyme? Rat hat, rat mat, rat cat. Hmm. How about muskrat, mini muskrat wearing a hat? You like that one? You can think of your own too. Okay, so muskrat wearing a hat. Turtle, turtle, jump in a hurdle. Gator, gator, see you later. Bear, bear, we don't care. Dragonfly up in the air. <laughs> deer, deer, without any fear. Oh, I see your pine tree. Dog, frog, frog, sitting on a log. I almost said dog because dog rhymes with frog. That's kind of weird. Okay, we're still at the water. At the river, in the water, where the big fish swim, where the ducks go quack. <laughs> we can do that with our hands too. Where the ducks go quack and the beaver tails slap. There's, this is my favorite, me and you in a canoe. <laughs> so let's put that over by the muskrat because the canoe is going down the river. Canoe. <laughs> that's a hard one to, that's a really hard rhyme. Canoe, canoe, me and you in a canoe. Kachoo. Somebody sneeze. Let's do that one. Okay. Me and you in a canoe. Kachoo. <laughs> Maybe that scared some of the animals away. Okay. Mini muskrat wearing a hat. Turtle, turtle, jump in a hurdle. Gator, gator, see you later. Loon, loon, looking at the moon. Bear, bear, we don't care, we're not afraid of you. Let's see, what did I miss? Oh, dragonfly up in the air. Deer, deer, without any fear. I see a pine tree. <gasps> frog, frog, sitting on a log. Well, we've been at the river for a while and now it's time to go home. Do we have to? Yes. So we're gonna walk back home. What else are we going to see on our trip back? What do you think? Walking home from the river where the big fish swim and the ducks go quack and the beaver tails slap. There's a great blue heron. Great blue heron love to eat frogs. So we're going to put the great blue heron back over here. And... So we'll keep him away from the frog so he won't eat him. <laughs> and heron, oh my goodness, that's a hard one. Heron, Baron, Sharon, Karen, I don't know. I think we're going to name this heron Sharon, don't you think? Yeah. Great blue heron named Sharon. <laughs> Me and you in a canoe. Got you! <laughs> Muskrat in a hat, eating cattails. Loon, loon, looking at the moon. Gator, gator, see you later. Turtle, turtle, jump in a hurdle. Bear, bear, we don't care. Deer, deer, without any fear. I see a pine tree. Dragonfly, up in the air. Did we get them all? I think so. Well, we're walking back home from the river. Let's see, what else are we going to see? Walking home from the river where the big fish swim and the ducks go quack and the beaver tails slap. There's an owl saying hoot. Owl saying hoot. We're going to put the owl up in the tree. Actually, near the pine tree. An owl saying hoot. So we could rhyme hoot. That would be easy. Hoot, hoot. Don't shoot. <laughs> Yeah, we don't want to shoot our animals. Let's do that one. Hoot, hoot, don't shoot. All right. 
You could probably rhyme boot. Yeah, boot's a good one too. But I think we're gonna go with shoot. Okay. So hoot hoot, don't shoot. <laughs> heron, heron with the name of Sharon. Me and you in a canoe, cut shoot. <laughs> Muskrat wearing hat. <laughs> loon loon looking at the moon. Gator, gator, see you later. Turtle, turtle, jump in a hurdle. Deer, deer, without any fear. Did I say bear? I did, I, I did, I did. I see a pine tree. Dragonfly up in the sky. Boy, I'm getting tired walking home. Hmm, but let's do it a couple more times because we're almost home and there's still more to see. Walking home from the river where the big fish swim, where the ducks go quack and the beaver tail slap. There's a red wing blackbird flying. Ooh, that dragonfly is gonna have some company. There's a red wing blackbird. Okay, bird. Well, I can name a lot of things that rhyme with bird, but I'm gonna go with word. There's a bird, bird, don't say a word. <laughs> Heron, Heron, name Sharon, me and you, Kurtu, muskrat, wearing a hat, loon, loon, looking at the moon, gator, gator, see you later, turtle, turtle, jump in a hurdle, or never bear, bear, we don't care, oh, hoot, hoot, don't shoot, I see your pine tree, deer, deer, without any fear, frog, frog, sitting on a log, our river is getting crowded, but we're almost home now. And it's been a long day, but there's one more thing that we saw when we were out there along the way. Walking home from the river where the big fish swim, where the ducks go quack and the beaver tails slap. There's a mosquito. Mosquito? <laughs> no! I want that mosquito to go even though some of the other animals eat them and they're beneficial. I don't want that mosquito <laughs> to bite me. So the mosquito has got to go. Mosquito got to go. Heron Heron with the name of Sharon. Me and you in a canoe, kerchoo. Muskrat wearing a hat, loon loon looking at the moon. Gator gator, see you later. Turtle turtle, jump in a hurdle. It's bear bear, we don't care. I see a pine tree, dear, dear, without any fear. Hoot, hoot, don't shoot. Ah, oh, bird, don't say a word. <laughs> and dragon fly in the sky. Mosquito, you gotta go. And that's the end of our river story today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you thought of a lot of rhymes. And <laughs> as usual today, with our story, we've got a craft to kind of play along. And today, I'm just going to um, change the camera so you can see what I'm doing on the table. Today, we're gonna build a river play mat. So you can think about all the things that are down at the river, and we're gonna put it into a little craft. Whoops, we woke the snake. We don't need that sign anymore. We woke that snake right up. So today, to do the craft, um, Excuse me a second. I'm going to grab my supplies that are over behind. So I'll get those a little closer to you. So you're going to need a paper bag, some scissors, well, some sticks. I have lots of sticks, some markers, and either paint or aluminum foil and a glue stick, and maybe some of your toys from home. I've got a toy horse, and I've got some bugs, and I've got a dinosaur, and I've got kind of a lot of weird things, and I've got a block. So you can watch me do it or do it along with me today, and then add some things that you may have later around your house. So here's what we're gonna do. Oh, did I say Play-Doh? Oh my goodness, we do need some Play-Doh because we're going to stick things to our river play mat. Okay, so here we go. And 
kind of clear my work surface so I have lots of area to work for. So the paper bag is going to be the base of our river play mat. And you can use this over and over again. And what I'm going to do is, you know, it's got some printing on the outside, and I don't want that to show up in my river play mat. So we're going to cut the river play mat apart, and we're going to cut the bottom of the bag. So you can always see creases on a bag. I've cut paper bags apart before, and I'm just cutting down the crease. And I'm going to cut the bottom of the bag right off right down the creases along the bottom. See how it's opening up slowly? I am cutting all of the creases. So, two more to go. Kind of hard to watch on the screen because my bag is flipping around. But I need a really big bag to do this with because I want a large surface to play with. There's so many things that we saw along the river today. I want to put them onto my picture. Okay, so there's my bag. It fills my whole table. So since this is a river play mat, you know what? We need a river. So today, if you want to, you can get out some paint and a brush, and you can put a big blue stripe down the middle. But I thought of another thing that you could do if you didn't want to do paint, you could grab some aluminum foil, like I have here, and I'm gonna pull off a sheet, a nice long sheet, and I'm gonna make my river out of aluminum foil. So how am I gonna do that? Well, I got my scissors. And I'm going to cut a strip off of my play mat that is going to be the river. Cut, cut, cut. I'm cutting a aluminum foil strip that's kind of wiggly, like this. Cut, cut, cut. I hope you can see this. I'm cutting a long strip of aluminum foil. And that's going to be my rolling river. The river's flow, right? So. It looks silvery. Sometimes water does look silvery, don't you think? So I'm going to take my glue stick and on my paper bag, I'm going to stick this piece of aluminum foil to the bag. If you want to, you can paint it. I decided not to paint today and I decided to stick a piece of aluminum foil onto my bag to do the river instead. So it's really shiny and it's really silvery and I like it a lot, but I think I'm going to need some blue color in it because, you know, the water is nice and blue like our river on the other one. So here I go. I'm going to put some marker, some blue marker to make the water shiny and blue. What do you think about that? There we go. Shiny, blue, water, ta-da. <laughs> All right, so what kinds of things are we going to have along our river? Well, I love rivers because they're kind of wild and they have lots of, of trees nearby. So I am going to put some Play-Doh, <clears throat> excuse me, Play-Doh on my play mat. Now, what's this got to do with the river being wild? Well, you're going to see in a minute. I put three things of Play-Doh out there. Ta-da-da. And now I'm going to get out my sticks. I got sticks. Now I have some big sticks, so I'm going to have to break them. But I found one stick that I really like because it's got a lot of branches. And I'm going to make a tree with it. And that's how I'm going to put all my wild trees along the river. I just broke my stick and I'm sticking a tree right there. And I need another tree, so I'm going to break my stick again and stick it in the Play Doh. Now the Play-Doh will stick to your mat and the twigs will stick into your Play-Doh and voila, you got trees. And if you go outside and collect some of those, you can even get some of actual leaves on them and that would look really cool. So there are some trees. So my river's starting to be a little bit wild and 
we saw a lot of animals when we were down at the river. So maybe the river passes a farm. So here comes some of your toys that you might have. I'm gonna put a horse by this tree drinking out of the river. Come on, horsey, stay put. I might have to stick him into the play though to make him stay. There we go. So what else, what other animals do I have? So you can put all kinds of fun stuff at your river. But how did you get to the river? Well, we walked to the river today in our story, but maybe if you have some toys at your house, you might have a car. So you might have driven down to the river <laughs> with your car. And let's see what else I have to put by the river. Oh, you know, Jake the snake <laughs> likes to swim in the river because he catches minnows. So I have some toys here. Oh, and here's my beaver with the beaver tail slap. And if you have any toys, you can do this, but this is a play mat, so you can put into it what you want. And here is a deer, oh, actually it's an elk. <laughs> and I love to do silly things, so here's a dinosaur. Would a dinosaur be down at the river? Maybe not. But he's gonna be by our river. And then I have a giant grass hopper. <laughs> so you can play with what you have around the house on your river play mat. So you can also add, I have some blocks around sometimes, and I just happen to have this one right here. I can pretend that it's a house, because I would really love to live by a river. So there's my house and my trees and my animals, and if I am just visiting, <laughs> I have a car to drive me there. So you can use your imagination and have a fun time playing with a river play mat. And it's just a basic bag that you cut, or, and then you can paint it. If I had some more markers, I might do some grasses all around it to make it really pretty. Whoops, I just knocked over my, my elk. So you could color it any colors you want or draw things on it. I think I might draw a cattail, maybe right here by the house. So I'm going to draw some leaves and a stem and a cattail. So then the muskrat will come. <laughs> so you can draw anything that you would like onto it or paint either way. And it's a lot of fun. And it's really just to use your imagination. So I'm going to take and change my camera back and finish up and say goodbye. I think Jake wants to say goodbye. I really do. Jake the snake. I mean, we woke him up. So now we have to play with him, right? So goodbye, everyone, from me, Miss Ann, and Jake the snake. See you next time. I hope you guys had fun rhyming with us today. I know that we had fun hanging out with you. So thanks to everybody that joined us live. And uh, if you are catching this video later, then uh, we hope that you join us live next time. We do this program every Thursday at 11 a.m. To join this or any of our other programs live, just go to our website, www.greatlakeskids.org. You can click on offerings and all of our programs are right there. Every Tuesday we do Get Crafty, so we're doing arts and crafts, everything is hands-on. We do those every Tuesday at 11 a.m. This program is uh, every Thursday at 11 a.m. And on Fridays we are doing First Step Science, so we're creating and using scientific tools, and that's also at 11 a.m. We hope that you join us live because these are interactive, these are hands-on programs, so that's the best way to enjoy them. So we hope to see you next time. And if you wanna keep programming like this on the air, uh, when our museum is closed, we appreciate any donations that you can give. To find more about donating and find a link to do it directly, you can go to greatlakeskids.org slash donate. All the information is right there. So again, uh, thanks for joining us. We hope to see you next time. And until next time, we'll say goodbye. Bye.